Okay, I'm going to do a little walk round of the BSA Aerial 3 powered by a Honda engine. This is for you, Paul, and anyone else that was interested. The bike is a 1970 BSA Aerial 3. So far, all standard apart from in the engine box. It's a Honda C50 LE engine, which is a three speed fully automatic. Um, intake is a custom steel manifold through a cheap Chinese carburetor that I had in the shed. Fuel is taken from a rear mounted fuel tank because the carburetor is where the new one is. There's a feed out there and one in the centre of the tank that is higher up. This gives reserve fuel capacity and is switched via a two way switch located in there. Fuel is drawn through the tap through either the reserve or the on position is then drawn via this fuel pump into the carburetor. The fuel pump is activated by here which is the pulses of the inlet manifold through this pipe into the back of the fuel pump. It is off a Honda Badger 50. Electrics on the bike are very basic at the moment. There's a regulator rectifier for charging when it's wired up and there is the CDI unit currently mounted on steel but we'll have a rubber wrap around it before it's bolted up on final assembly. This is purely for test running. I'm now going to... The drive is taken from the original Honda sprocket. There's a 17 tooth sprocket here. Going down will allow on the floor to the original BSA drive through the lathe shaft and a secondary set of gears back to the original drive of the wheel. The original BSA disengagement is still available but isn't necessary because the bike does freewheel very nice but it does enable me to run the engine when I don't want the engine to turn. My next job today is chain tensioning because as obviously can be seen one's good and one is bad. This is going to involve something between here and here. This is my Kickstarter designed to miss the skinny exhaust which is why the exhaust is that shape and I built this this morning. The photos will be on the forum very shortly. I intend to support it off of this fix in here on the back wheel arch will be my exhaust support. So far, so good. Thanks for watching.